day 10 of fun and easy sketchbook exercises to help you fall back in love with painting and today you're going to need patience or a hair dryer and that's because today we're learning about layering or glazing which requires dry layers mix up a fairly transparent color of your choice and make some shapes also side note if you want to keep from making marks on the other pages in this you can always slip an extra page in between these i should have been doing that earlier once you have a couple shapes down dry this layer completely then mix up another transparent color and you want to make more shapes in some areas let them overlap and other areas let them be on their own you can do this for any color you want just make sure between colors you're drying the paper completely so they're not going to move around together. As you're doing this, I want you to observe the colors. What does it look like on the white page versus when it's layered over one color or multiple colors? How does it change it? This is a really practical way to see how layering and glazing can affect the colors of your final pieces. 